Hey guys, Eagle here, back with a video. Yeah. Um, I've been wanting to do a rig slash setup video for a long time, so here you have it. I'm going to show you my tower, my two monitors, I should say my desktop, desktop, two monitors, um, my peripherals with my mouse, keyboard, headphones, earbuds, webcam, etc. That's basically all I have actually, so I'll etc. But yeah, through that, then I'm going to go through showing you the different parts of my computer. I'll do I'll film a little bit on the inside of my computer, but I, the boxes of the parts are in storage, so there are a lot of boxes. So I'll just name them off, and I'll have stock photos of each part, so you can see what it is up close, as well as viewing inside my desktop. So I'm going to do that, and yeah, um, yeah. Okay, so I don't know how good the audio, blah, 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 the video and audio quality is because it's. My phone, great camera, but horrible for recording. So here's my tower. Bad for scale, it's about, I'd say two feet tall. About, what, eight, nine inches wide. And it is an, it's an NXZT, NZXT um, case. I have the, can't really see it right now, but I have a Asus DVD burner. I don't think it's Blu-ray. As well as a, by Ultra, a uh, card reader that has every card. It has three USBs, a USB 3.0, um, eSATA, Compact Flash, SD, Micro SD, and some others, some other different um, memory card pipes. That's the front of my tower. I'll show you the inside of it in a minute and also turn it on. This is my desk. I got my monitors, keyboard, microphone, water bottle, and school supplies. Webcam as well. My monitor is a, I can't remember what it is. If I get it wrong, I'll correct it. The box is also in storage. It's an Asus. Um, I think it's the MK or MX series monitor. It's an IPS, LCD LED IPS monitor. It has 80 million to one aspect ratio. It's, I love it. My other monitor is a basic um, 720p Samsung monitor from about six, seven years ago. We got from my old desktop. That's so outdated, it's not even funny. But I couldn't afford to get two of these because they're like 350 a piece. So I got that as my old monitor as well. It's not the best quality in the world, which may be why my, why my um, some issues are happening, but I'll fix that later. My webcam, it's horrible lighting. God damn. It's a uh, webcam, is a, it's a Logitech I think C26 something. I'll, I'll fix that in the video as well if I get it wrong. Got a blue Nessie. Got a Razer Black Widow Ultimate 2014. I think it's Ultimate. No, Razer Black Widow Stealth 2014. Ultimate. I think it's Ultimate. Razer Naga Epic. I have the, the wireless sensor right here. I don't use it because uh, uh, Razer Snaps hates me. So whenever I move it over, something changes for some reason. I don't know why. I just use the wired. Here I have... These are my main headphones I use for record for uh, editing videos. They are Razer Kraken, I think, or Electra. No, Razer Electra, I think. Yeah, the Electra, the basic ones. And that's basically it for my peripherals. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. My computer's the main OS's or the OS is to say it's Windows 7 Home Premium. I have it on a 128 solid state drive and just, I'm gonna turn my monitors on real quick so you can see how fast it boots up. Well, a solid state is that you can fill up as much as you want up to the limit and it will not go slow. So I also have a one terabyte hard drive in here as well. So let's just see, watch. It has red lights that you can barely see. Okay, let's see. My BIOS menu boots up on this monitor for some reason. I don't know why. But it fixes up these because that might be the main um, video port for some reason. I don't know why. Because that's done by PC, this is done by HDMI. And I also have a time counting of how long it takes to boot up. My desktop is very messy when it boots up. And it's booted up. Um, that thing on my desktop, the Google Chrome thing, for some reason I keep getting logged out on my Google Chrome profile. I don't know why. Whatever. Desktop very messy. I also love my edit of that cracked Windows screen. Let's see. Let's, uh, hard to see it. 
but now you can kind of see. I'll turn this monitor off. Might fix it. Inside my my uh, computer, let's see if you can see right here. You see the red light or whatever? Is a two strips of red LEDs that are powered from the power supply, obviously. So that just makes a cool little red glow to it. It gets annoying at night, but it looks kind of cool. So um, I'm going to um, I'm going to show you the inside of my computer. Okay, I'm going to I unscrew the back. I'm going to take the faceplate off. Sorry if my if I lose video. That is the inside. That's my baby topless. Sorry about that camera moving. I might disable the lights while we go. Actually, that's a good little see. Okay. Here we got. Uh, I think there's a Cooler Master fan. It's the the side one, the top one. The top one has red LEDs in it. Let's see, CPU is a um, Intel Core i5 4670K quad core. Easy to, or I should say, it's unlocked. I think so. I can overclock it rather easy, as easy as overclocking gets. I have eight gigs of of crucial ballistics RAM. I want to get sixteen, but you know, sixteen gigs that's like eighty bucks, and I'll have that on the air now. Uh, let's see, graphics card is a MS, MSI NVIDIA GTX 750 Twin Frozer 1 gigabyte GDDR5. Um, I want to upgrade it to uh, 2 gigs. Get like, because um, the 1 gig, it's it's a great great uh, GPU. I love it. It just it gets slow sometimes. So I do want to upgrade it at some point. Because this is like one of the cheapest, I think it's the cheapest 750 they have, but it's still a really good GPU. In terms of the motherboard, it is a MSI Z87 gaming motherboard. I don't remember the exact specs on it. But you can see the little MSI Dragoon Army logo right there. MSI Z86. I can't see your Z86. Oh, let me see if I can persist. Sorry about that. It's a G. Oh, it's losing focus. GD6, Z87 GD65 gaming motherboard. Yes. I have a Corsair CX600M power supply. Don't know the specs on that really, I just know what it is. Here you got my uh, one terabyte hard drive and above that, I think, yeah, right there, it's hard to see. It's the 128 gigabyte solid state. It's a notebook solid state drive because that's, you know, why not? But yeah, that's my baby. All the wires are stored behind here. That's just the back, the back of the or the other side, because the wires are very messy. Because in terms of other, this is actually I think a pretty small tower, because I've seen some huge ones. But then again, a lot of the big YouTubers like PewDiePie or Pizza Hut have you know insane computers. God, Pete has like what a f four gigabyte EVGA uh, graphics card. It's like five hundred dollars. PewDiePie, his tower is like three or four feet off the ground because he has like five one terabyte solid tits or something crazy like that. So yeah, it's all easy over there. I may in the future want to put in a liquid cooling system for the CPU. Just because I just because I could. It seemed pretty simple to do as long as you don't spill it, as long as you don't doesn't leak. Um, I can obviously put a ton more hard drives in there if I wanted to add on. I may get another terabyte or maybe a two terabyte. Ooh, we'll just turn something, just turn blue. A uh, multi bios. Okay. Um, put in maybe a two terabyte hard drive because they're getting pretty cheap. The regular hard drive, maybe, maybe get a ter one terabyte solid state hybrid, just for the just for ease of access. And there's there's the lights. The lights are powered by. Let's see if I can reach back here without disturbing anything. Pardon my arm. If I can find it. There you go. A little switch back there that turns off the LED lights, but not the top one. I think I have fan controls right here. I have two fans right here. I have the fan right here and the fan right here. And you can tell which one, because that one's, you can see it slow down a bit. The, the top one, the light goes down, so it, just, it cuts the power of the top one. So it slows down. I usually both see that fans about to stop. I usually leave both of them on high, just for you know why not? Because I'm not pulling very many amps from my uh, circuit breaker, so I'm not gonna blow any circuit. Or and I rather I don't want to stop overheating. I'm not doing anything intensive except when I play with shaders or do renderings or whatever. But I rather just leave it on high just for the ease. 
And I see I have two active fans. I've, I can have one, two, three more fans if I want to. Um, right here, the spot right here next to the other fan. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I can add, I think I can add uh, one on right here, I believe. Then I can add a, I think I can take this all out and get what T and R Frags used to have. If you've seen his recent rig video. He used to have a huge, um, no, he put in, a, I think it's, I think it's Cooler Master. It was like a, uh, I think that's, CPU right here, put, it goes on top of the CPU, it's, it's a huge, uh, it's not a, um, I can't remember the name of it. Um, it would come to me. Radiator. It's not, it's not a radiator. It just it pulls air through the entire computer, cooling everything off, as well as directing a huge burst of air onto the CPU. Cool air, instead of just you know the regular air from the fan. So that's my, um, that is my, that's my desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and see what else I have to show you guys. Let me. To my monitor back on. Make sure all the glowing fun stuff up. I need to see. I told you, Razor Snaps hates me. My keyboard perfectly functional. My mouse uh, has not been detected yet. So give me a second. I'm gonna go get my mouse to work again. I just unplug and plug it until it turns a color. So yeah, I'll be right back. There we go. Got it to work. It's the Razor Naga Epic. It has the. Uh, I can choose whatever color I want it to be. Um, I can also use the wireless. Um, the wireless receiver if I wanted to, but I really don't want to. And the most important thing of all, my earbuds. Skull Candy Ink 2. The best earbuds I've ever bought, probably the cheapest I've ever bought. Like 7 or seven to $14, depending on the holiday. So yeah, that is my rig. Um, here's the inside of my thing, so I could put a big old fan right here if I wanted to. I believe. It'll be right here. It'll be right here. I don't know why I'm doing this. It'll be right here. So, yeah. Sorry my horrible filming skills. I'm used to doing it on... I'm used to filming on, you know, on the computer. But, yeah, there's my dog, if you can see her. And she lives under there, pretty much. But, yeah, that's my, uh... That's my rig and my setup. And, um... Yeah, that's about it, actually. Yeah, so thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, if you did, leave a like, subscribe for more Minecraft videos, and then the occasional rig update video in case I upgrade my computer, get a better monitor, better keyboard, better whatever. So I also have a, a, a link to a list of my of all my stuff, all my the parts, my peripherals in the description. Go check that out. And I also have a link to... Actually, no, just shout out to uh, Tiger Direct who built the computer because I am a pansy who do not want to touch anything in here. Except it's like upgrading something minor like the RAM. I would not be able to build this thing if I wanted to. Shout out, big shout out to them. Um, they did a good job. I didn't pay too much for it. They only charged like 50, 60 bucks for it's for the for the uh, for the building it. And yeah, um, when I bought it in store, they had it on a t little tangent here. When I went to go pick out a computer, they had this one set up playing Batman Arkham Origins, I think is the name of the game. And it was on a 4K resolution monitor, and it was running at, like, I think 30 or 45 FPS. Which, for those types of games, is really good. It's on, it was, like, max, uh, max everything, max, uh, quality on the, uh, on the video quality. Well, I mean, not super fast, but it was, it was running it properly. Because, unless you're recording it, you don't need to get above 50 or some odd, 50 or so frames per second. To enjoy the game. So yeah, good. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, shout out to Tiger Direct. Thanks, guys.